Okay, so I have another situation that has come to light, or not come to light. Who's ready to go see what kind of mischief we can get into? Welcome back, everybody. It is old Big Mike back out here in the Hoopty Barn. Stacks of tires and the old Green Goblin 72 Dodge Charger. And what has or has not come to light? Well, you know, I was working on the headlight doors before. I didn't get that far yet. Didn't get those fixed. But I have another issue. Those dudes right there. When I turn on my headlights, I got headlights. Put some power to this sucker. And let's see. Headlights. Yes. Headlights. Affirmative. Tail lights. Negatory. Well, and here's the deal. I had those suckers working before, and now they're not. So, I need to find out why not. So, that's what I want to concentrate on. I'm going to get these tail lights to work, because there's going to be a few fellers that are going to be needing to see these tail lights, like Ryan Bar's Nest, Buck Does It, a few other fellers out there. I want to make sure y'all see some tail lights lit up going by. All right, first point of attack. The lights are on. The switch is on. So I went into the trunk and I unplugged my clip here and put my test light on my ground and nothing. None of them. So I figure I'll just trace it back that way. I figured that would be the easiest access point to go from. And I know I got a brand new headlight switch, so somewhere between here and there. So we'll start tracing it back the other way. You want to know why I hate electrical? <sighs> So, all right, I pulled my little pick panel here and all that, and I did find I had a blown fuse for the brake, and tail, whatever. So I put a new one in, blew it immediately. So I thought, all right, I'll put a jumper in there, just temporary, you know, and then pull the switch on and look around and see you know, is there something smoking? What's going on? Well, I get back here into the trunk again. And this wire, which was a ground wire, it was hooked up right here, started smoking. So obviously that's not right. And, well, so I clipped it off. Took, shut everything down. Rehooked everything up. Well, now... My switch is holding all that. Still no tail lights, but I have one rear side marker light. And I have both of my headlights and one side front marker light. Neither one of these. So, shut that down to the park lights. Still have this one, but still nothing here. I still have this one. But, nothing here. So, 
So, off we go. Well, will you look at that? I scratched my hair plumb off. Anyway, <laughs> uh, I got interrupted yesterday in my process, and I just dropped everything and said, some days are that day. So, I will show you where I was when I got interrupted and how far I got. So, I did get something going. Get my battery hooked back up here. I charged my, I threw the battery charger on there so I'd not have a dead battery today. And we'll turn the switch on. So, now I have the driver's side marker light. I didn't have an amber for this one. I have an amber in this one, but I got to get there. See, I got to get that all cleaned out. I got to get that making good contact. And I have this one. I still only have one side marker here. Nothing. Nothing. So, I'm going to finish up the front. And all those are working. I'll make my way back to the back, which is where I was intending to have going in the first place, but, uh, you know, sometimes it's always just double back, double back, double back. So, I'm going to get all this finished back up, get a new lens on that, get a new 1157 amber in there. That was part of what I had to do, too. Got me some new bulbs. So, we'll get that changed out. We'll get this all buttoned up, and then I'll move back to the back and see if we can't get that going so I'll get on it Whew, man this is frustrating <laughs> uh, so I pulled off my little kick panel there and got to this plug and I took my tester and I don't know if I'm just dumb or I just don't know Mopars enough or I don't know but I always thought that in automotive, the black wire was ground. But it seems that on this plug, the black wire coming out and the black wire going in are, it's, it's hot. I don't know. I don't know why. I've been back here fiddling with this mess. I mean, I've skinned it back, and I've put jumper wires here and there and all that stuff, and I took one of my old taillight housings from parts car, you know, so I could trace things down, and, well, I got this far. And the way I had to do that was I had to put a jumper wire across there for that portion of the taillights. So, so far... I've got that, I've got all the way around, this one's not working now, but I've got everything else, I got all my park lights, I got all that stuff working, so, one more to track down, and if I have to just, you know, hoopty it, I have to hoopty it. I mean, what else would you expect? You you really don't expect things to be right. Come on, man. All right. Whew. Man, been a tough go on this sucker. So, are we ready to see where we got? All right. Headlight. We got a marker light. A marker light. A headlight, a headlight, a marker light, a marker light. And we got a marker light, kind of a tail light, kind of a tail light, a marker light. The socket on this one just wouldn't keep connection. 
uh, every once in a while it'll wiggle and make connection. Here, one of you fellers can tell me if it's working whenever we're at the drag strip. Yeah, so there it is. That's my little bit of smack talk. So, uh, that's where we're at. We are ready for racing. So, do me a favor. If you ain't subscribed, go ahead and do that. And uh, give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs down. Say, you big dummy, you don't know how to wire tail lights. And I'll say, you are correct. I do not know how to wire tail lights. I muddle through it best. It took me forever and three days to get this thing kind of halfway going. But, there she is. So, you know what I always tell you. Until next time, y'all keep watching. And I'm going to keep working.